Welcome. Imagine being on holiday in southern Italy. You are snorkeling in the beautiful Mediterranean Sea. You are exploring and admiring the colorful reefs and marine life. When suddenly you notice an arm sticking up from the sandy seabed. You start digging, expecting to pull out a dead body. But what you find is this. And actually, there is another one. This is what happened to this guy. He is Stefano Mariottini and on the 16th of August 1972 he found these two guys on the seafloor, off the Italian coast of Riace. Or at least, this is what he told everyone. But we'll get to that later. The Riace bronzes are also known as the Riace warriors, and they are a pair of ancient Greek statues. They are huge, even larger than life-size. They probably represent two warriors or gods, and they are made of cast bronze. This metal was the favorite of Greek artists, but it was always in demand for reuse in later periods. So, many of the ancient Greek statues have been melted by later civilizations to resume the bronze, and unfortunately not many survived. But these two warriors are in almost perfect conditions. The statues have been dated to between 460 and 450 BC. It is not known why they were made and how they ended up near the coast of Calabria in Italy. The theory is that they were being carried on a ship that sank. However no evidence of a wreck has been found, so it could be that they were thrown overboard to lighten the ship's weight during a storm. The Romans looted large quantities of Greek artworks and transported them to Italy, so these two statues might have been in Roman possession at some point. There is no clear testimony in ancient literature to identify these two warriors. It seems that they originally formed part of a votive group in a large sanctuary and they might be ancient heroes, perhaps Tidus and Amphiaraus. They have been simply named Statue A and Statue B. The statues look human and divine at the same time. They both strike a very similar pose. Their weight is on the right leg, with the left leg slightly forward, making them look much more realistic. Their hips and shoulders are resting at opposing angles, creating a curve. This pose is known as contraposto, and it is very common for Greek and Roman statues. It was even used by Michelangelo for his David. Follow the arrow to watch that video. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Because their left arm used to hold a shield, and in the right one there was once a lance or a spear. Also, the helmet is missing from statue A. The discovery of the two Riace bronzes was a remarkable moment for the city and the country, but especially for Stefano Mariottini. He collected a prize of 155 millions of lira. That would be around 64,000 euros today. However, there were some discrepancies in his story. Mariottini told the police that he saw a statue with a shield in its arm, which was never found. In his statement he also said that he saw a group of at least three bronzes, and he described certain details that did not correspond to what the archaeologists found a few days later. No one knows what happened to the missing items and the third statue. It is thought that they were smuggled before the archaeologists could retrieve them. Who did it, no one knows. There is a lot of mystery around these two statues. The only certainty is the exceptional talent of the ancient Greek artists. Whoever made them, they created two, or more, beautiful examples of classical art that have significantly shaped the history of art. So, what do you think about this story? Where do you think the third statue is? Leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel.